back in Trinity and Ambridge and I've often said to my wife uh, who's here for the first time that uh, my three years at Trinity there, there was never a time that I felt as uh, much of a community as what I felt back starting in 1979. Summing it up uh, in starting the Coast Christ Chaplaincy back in 1990 um, I was uh, frustrated with parish ministry, to be honest, and I just said, you know, I don't see that I'm making a difference. And I had a uh, situation where I've been doing some ride-alongs with some police officers, and they started coming by the um, church for counseling, and I started doing more ride-alongs, and I was saying, why not maybe do this full-time? So what I did is I went and talked to my bishop, the sheriff, and the police chief of the possibility of starting a full-time program. And, they, and I said I would raise the money like much like Young Life does or Campus Crusade, that I would raise the money and uh, if they would bless it and if the sheriff, police chief would give me a car to get to the scenes. And uh, we have the opportunity of going on about 1,400 calls a year. Suicides, homicides, water fatalities, traffic fatalities, barricade situations we're constantly notified when those situations come and the uh, emergency responders want us on scenes with them so that we can take care of the families or we can take care of the, uh, their own. The course that I'm teaching now is uh, called Pastoral Crisis Intervention and this is a course that I co-authored after the 9-11 attack uh, September 11, uh, 2001 and it's uh, through the University of Maryland and the International Critical Incident Stress Foundation and it's a course that I go around the country and teach about once every two months. It's normally a three-day course, but here we, at any seminary I teach it, where I teach, it's uh, expanded to a five-day course because to meet master's level uh, requirements and also uh, to meet the University of Maryland, we need to expand it out. In the middle day, I usually have a local SWAT team or hostage negotiators uh, come and um, uh, come out on Wednesday uh, to do some training and show uh, clergy what they may end up uh, encountering if um, one of their parishioners gets off their meds or if say a SWAT team operation goes down two, two blocks from their church what are they going to do to be helpful and you know, a lot of this is lessons learned for me is that I started the Coastal Crisis Chaplaincy 22 years ago down in Charleston South Carolina and so we have a pretty good staff down there and we are the chaplains for 38 police fire and EMS agencies and then I've got top security clearance with the FBI. So, uh, you know, I, I, I do have uh, call outs with the Bureau. With Mike Henning as my pastoral theology professor, um, you know, I, I, never fit, I never fitted the mold, if you will, for, uh, for your typical seminarian as far as um, getting papers done on time or maybe footnoting correctly, but they saw that I had some gifts for ministry and they didn't know what form it would take. I don't think anybody's surprised that it didn't take the form of a parish. But um, I have found the niche in doing what I needed to do and what God, I think, has called me to do.